GitHub now lets you block specific actions from running in your workflows. This helps prevent the use of outdated or compromised actions across your repos. Let me show you how to set it up. Okay, so you can do this at the enterprise, organization, or repo level. So we're just going to do it in a repository. So in my repository, if I go to the settings of my repository, and we go under Actions, General, then here is where you can control the actions permissions. So you can see I've set it to allow enterprise and select non-enterprise actions and reusable workflows. I'm allowing all the actions created by GitHub, but this is where the new piece comes in. In the what used to just be an allow list, it's now an allow or a block list. And to block, you simply use an exclamation point in front of the action you're trying to block. So in this case, I am blocking the V3 version of the actions checkout action because I have that exclamation point. So if we go back over here to actions and we select this action, which is using V3, and I say run workflow, then we're going to see that the workflow immediately does not run. It does not run because we block the action using policy controls. And if we drill down into the action, then we can see the actual error message, which is did not run because all actions must not match this pattern. And if we look at our workflow file, we are actually matching that pattern. Blocking actions gives you tighter control over your CI CD pipeline. Use it to enforce trusted versions and reduce your supply chain risk.